Welcome back to Let's Play God of War. I'm Burning Dog Face, and we're here in the uh, tropical realm of Helheim, about to fight ourselves a Valkyrie. Huh. I know, right? Kind of crazy. Uh, shout out to Scotty Charisma, who informs me that the uh, the outline of the door does, in fact, briefly flicker into existence before the door appears on the PS4 version. Also says, good luck with the Valkyrie. So thank you for that. Uh, let's see, what else was there? I am recording this on Tuesday the 14th, so happy Valentine's Day, Burning Dog fans. Hope you have a lovely day, whether you, uh, you know, have that special someone or not. No reason for single people to be bummed out today. I did forget to acknowledge it, uh, that the video is for today, but, you know, say la vie. Hope you had a lovely day when you see this. Let's, uh, go say hi. So how come this fire works? I mean, is it just that Odin says it works, so it does? Maybe it's actually warm in here. That would be weird. I'll just explain why he sealed the door so tight. Come to think of it, it didn't have a seal on it. It was just one of those explodey things. Huh. I guess they put that up there. Not this. I guess they put the the the, the exploding. Uh, saber, right? If by safer you mean brutally rip her wings off, then my vote is I. Enough, both of you. I will decide the best course of action. Huh. Uh, the the explodey tree sap seal is what I'm saying. I feel like they put that there because otherwise Kratos could have come down here by himself when he was supposed to be saving Atreus. Atreus, here! Yes, father! Prepare yourself! Rota! Focus up! Valhalla shone the light! Watch out! I think you'd have fit right in in... Oh, God. In Olympus. Quite to the contrary. <laughs> Damn it! Wow, I am getting my ass kicked over here! Oh no. They do not give you a big window to dodge that attack. No! Very small dodge window. Sweet Jesus. Actually, let's go over here for just a moment. No. Oh. Scambo! That time, the delay was less about being dramatic and more about not wanting to hit that one. Nice to meet you! Damn it! Oh, you really do have to dodge that one at the last possible moment, huh? Oh! Oh, come on! What in the hell was that? Oh, that reminds me. Uh, I really wanted to check this. Someone pointed it out in the comments. 
Oh, wow. It's the expression on his face. Uh, Kratos apparently has bulging veins in this mode. It's kind of out of focus. Oh, I can actually fix that. No, no, that's not that one. It's this one. It's kind of hard to tell under all the blood, to be honest. <laughs> no! You want to yell Valhalla? You can hear what happens when this guy yells Sparta. God damn! No, I don't think I am. But just because we're screwed. I mean, I'm gonna give up. Damn it! Damn! Well, at least she gave me a thumbnail there. <laughs> oh, man alive! Hello. And one of these. And one of these. You dare. Yep. I had that one. But the timing is so tight. Might have been kind of hard to tell, but I did land a cleave on her, so that felt good. God damn that attack. I got this. I just need. Oh fuck! Oh come on, you're fine. Oh, why are you going blue? I want you to know I have rabies. You should probably get tested. Well, it is very funny, and I'm still going to load the game. Uh, yeah. Actually, that autosave might be in the fight. Must you put this. them over there? Prepare yourself. Ready yourself. <laughs> ah! How the hell do I dodge that? I can't even see it coming. And 
One, two, three, damn it. Holy crap, lady. Have you considered shutting up? And you, fill out. Ah! Oh. Doesn't matter if I dodge it if I'm on the same plane. It's like trying to outrun a long thing by running along the length. jump cut then. This is not ideal. Not at this time of day. God damn. This is the 17th attempt since the jump cut. You two suck at this. How dare you? Yeah, that's right. We're still here. Prepare yourself. Tasty, delicious.
just thinking that would be very convenient. The lady, please tell us. Why were you in this physical form? Why fight us? I do not know. The soul of a Valkyrie cannot remain pure in a physical body. We belong in the spirit world, which is where I now go. Goodbye! I take it back. You were a worthy foe. Even if you weren't a worthy Valkyrie. Rest in peace. Somebody made them this way. Who? And why? I... I wouldn't want to speculate. You know something. Ah, Mimia, the smartest man alive. I know many things. Head? Uh... Sigrun, the queen of the Valkyries. She would have that power. Hmm. The last time I saw her, she was corporeal herself. She came to visit me long after I'd been imprisoned by Odin. Odd. Why? Well, we had... History, I guess you could say. Like, romantic history? Ah, oh, lad, you're making me blush, I think. Can I still blush? First we hunt these creatures, and now we chase your former lover. We do not need this distraction. It's more than a distraction. Father, these are Valkyries. They're the ones who keep the dead from overrunning Midgard. Then they are terrible at their job. It's not their fault, brother. Someone changed them. Kept them from their duty. The Queen? 
I can't say for sure, lad. We should ask more of them. If, of course, you don't mind the distraction. Rota's helmet. The helm of the Valkyrie Rota. Some spirit, some vestige of her spirit remains, longing to join her sisters. Maybe I should have screamed that to be more in character with that. Oh. Grips of the Valkyrie. Epic Blades Bommel. Low perk activation chance on any successful blades hit to grant power of the Valkyrie. Increasing strength and runic. Stacks up to three times max. That sounds kind of baller. Actually goes down, but uh, I can't upgrade it to level eight, so that's awesome. And they look pretty good. Asgard's Shard of Existence, holding left bumper for several seconds, grants fortification, causing an explosive knockback after the next successful block. That's very funny to me. More Asgardian Steel, which is found on scraps of Valkyrie armor. Used to upgrade armor, pommels, and talismans with the powers of the Valkyries. Oh... <sighs> I should check into uh, the timer, I guess. Oh, and it may have uh, taken me quite a while, but I did eventually uh, dodge all three of the possible stomps in that, uh, the, well, the stompy attack where she just screams, Valhalla! at the beginning of it. <laughs> it looked like this. Yes! Hey, is it me or does that symbol kind of look like the grip on this blade? Hmm. Well, I finally understand why this guy was in here. Actually, I began to understand that about, about about round eight. That uh, she's much more vicious in the air than she is on the ground. Your watch has ended. <laughs> hey, money. Ah, more of those. Oh, right. Yes, Good. the Helheim breaches. We could use that just to get out of Helheim, but we're going to ride the elevator up, because it's tradition. I guess we need to get back to Midgard and drop off that helmet, huh? Reunited with her sisters and all that. I'm cl still not clear if this means the Valkyries have just been freed to reassume a normal spiritual form, which seemed to be what they were suggesting, or if they're just dead now and, you know, f at peace. Kind of sounds like the former, but they can't actually communicate with us in this form. You know, once they leave their bodies and all that. Oh, wait. Alright, well, between this video and the next one, since of course we have gone over time, uh, I'm going to go back down and see if there were any tunnels there I missed, like in some of the other Valkyrie rooms. I like the lighting in here. It's very dramatic. I'm not sure where it's coming from, given that we're in Helheim, but, you know, whatever. Uh, you feeling alright, Atreus? Yeah, I'm sure he's okay. I'm Burning Dog Face. 
And uh, I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Play God of War. I have no idea what we're going to be doing. But at least we're not fighting that Valkyrie. Oh, boy. Later!